Hey brother, welcome to another week of Walking Wisely. Let's start with a proverb from Mark Twain, who said, a man who carries a cat by the tail learns something he can learn in no other way. Well, that's the kind of wisdom that we're seeking from Proverbs. It's the kind of street knowledge that says, this is wise and this is not wise. And life is filled with unique opportunities, unique mishaps, unique pressures, and unique personalities. And we need wisdom. We need to seek that wisdom. And so the word of the day today is the word ask. Ask for wisdom, brothers. It says in Proverbs eight seventeen, I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently find me. Now this is taken up in the New Testament by James, the brother of Jesus, in James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8, and you probably remember these words. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Here we're talking about asking in faith. And so here's what faith basically entails that's beneath the waterline, because often we're looking at what we want or what we desire to be the outcome, and we're not recognizing there's a baseline of faith. So the first thing about faith is that I'm coming to God and I'm coming in faith because I'm humble. I'm humble, I'm ready to obey whatever he tells me. Secondly, we come in faith because the Father never leaves the room. He never leaves us alone. He's adopted us. I'm a son. My identity is fixed. He's asked me to come into his throne room and ask him for the things that I want. And I belong to this family because of Jesus in my heart. And God's will in faith, we know, is 95% already revealed in Scripture. So I come with this kind of humility, this kind of expectancy, and I'm asking the Holy Spirit to give me wisdom. And then God's counsel, as we find it, is often upside down. To, to be powerful, we need to be gentle. To live, we need to die. To go up, we need to come down. To lead, we need to follow. So expect when you ask for wisdom that something might come in a very different way. And then there's this little tripwire that's in these verses. It says, we have to come in faith never doubting. And often we think, well, well, I am doubting. I, I don't know if he's going to show me. I don't know if I'll get what I need. I don't know if God will, will answer the prayer that I'm asking today. Well, keep this in mind. Our faith is in the author, not in the outcome. And it's okay to pour out our hearts to him. We need this wisdom, Lord. I think it ought to go this way. We need to tell him what we think and how we feel. But remember, our faith and our trust is in the author. So we're back to square one, which is I come humbly. I come in faith. I come to the Father because I'm seeking his wisdom. So let's walk in wisdom, whatever your opportunity, whatever your pressure, whatever your latest mishap. Let's learn life today from God.